we are now on the unified plant growth and development, especially in the tropic responses. We will now discuss the phototropism and geotropism in the plants. As you can see on the video, on the right side of the plant, uh, right side of the video, which is the plants, is bending towards the light. This uh, we called as the phototropism, while on the left side is geotropism, which the root system is bending towards the gravity. And here for another example, for the seed germination, of course, uh, we have uh, first the radical will now, first to sprout, which is the uh, gravitational pull, which is the geotropism and the epicotyl, which now uh, move towards the light, which is the phototropism. Okay, for the next, animals keep moving around to the environmental stimuli. But what about plants? They move? The answer is yes. Even though it is not of use as the animals, plants do move. They also respond to various environmental stimuli. Let's now talk about tropism or the tropic movement. So what it is and what are their, its different kinds? So what is tropism? Tropism is a kind of movement. It's a kind of turning movement. Towards or away from. From what? From some kind of stimulus. If you have a plant and uh, keep in to the sunlight, as time goes by, as you can see, the plant will grow. And the shoot will now start bending towards the light. So this is tropism, where now the plant is turning movement towards the light, while the root system is turning movement away from the sunlight. So it is another tropism which is called geotropism. Okay, let's take another example in which you need to get some plants and have them uh, plant horizontally and you can observe that uh, the its body parts um, the stems are now bending towards the light and not horizontally. And its movement is turning away from the gravity. As you can see, you can now see that the roots is turning um, towards the gravity. Okay, so going deeper. Okay, for the, another example, uh, let's talk about a mimosa leaves and also called a touch me not plant so as you can see if you touch the mimosa pudica plant it will now uh, close so it is another movement as you can see the movement is neither towards or away from the stimulus thus it is not a directional movement does that make sense like in these cases and thus, it is not a tropic movement. Let's take another example. It is a Venus light, a fly trap. When the fly comes, it traps it. Is it a tropic movement? The answer is no. Why not? Because the stimulus is not uh, towards or away. It just closed. It does not depend on the direction of the stimulus. Again, it is not a tropic movement. Okay, for the Mimosa Podica and the Venus Flytrap, uh, they are called the nastic movement of plants. So, the major difference between these two um, movement, well, the first two examples um, is turning movement towards, a, uh, towards or away from stimulus. Well, the nastic movements do not depend on the direction of the stimulus. The first movement, you can see the growth of the plants. Well, in the nastic movement, you can see the growth of the plant.
So from the example, uh, from the first video, you can see that the lights, um, the plants is movement towards the light, which is called the phototropism, while the other is, while the other is uh, towards the gravity, which can be called as gravitopism or geotropism, which is geo means earth. So now we call it as geotropism which is bending away from the sunlight and towards the gravity. So take a look at the creeper plant. As you can see that this creeper plant is coiling around the stem. It is also called um, tropic movement, which is bending towards the light. So what is the stimulus for this? So the stimulus around here is touch. So when it touch on the stem, it will now turn to coil all over the stem. So it's for this movement. And also you can see its root system, which is towards or away from the sunlight and towards the gravity. As simple as that, which another tropic movement. Some they called it um, touch tropism, but the Latin word for touch is thigmo. That's why we can call it a thigmo tropism. And from the other is um, hydrotropism, which is turning away from the water. Because uh, hydro means water. Let's take another example. Uh, you can see this on the reproductive part of the plant. As you can see now, uh, we have the pollen grain which uh, serves as the sperm of the plants and the ovary is the egg cells of the plants and we need the stigma which is the way to reach the pollen grain from the pollen grain to the ovary to make it um, for the lights. So, how come that the pollen will travel to the ovary? The ovary will now secrete a chemical. So now the pollen grain will now. Um, travel or the because of the secretes chemical from the ovary and now goes through it and now the pollen now a fuse with the eggs as you can see that this pollen travel to the ovary is also a turning movement which is a tropism again which is towards the stimulus because of the chemicals towards here traveling okay and now also for the roots they can also sense when there is a harmful chemicals they will now turn away from it so the stimulus is some chemical so what we think, uh, what is the name of this tropism? Or what we call it? So it is known as the camo tropism, from the camo, from the chemicals released from it. Okay, one thing to remember is, so from this, we need to know uh, the movement of the plants if it is towards or away from the stimulus. Okay, towards means positive and away means negative for us to know the movement of the plants. 
if it is phototropism, geotropism, thigmotropism, and chemotropism, as well as those Gnostic movement that we discussed earlier. For the first picture, it is a positive phototropism because it bends towards the light. Well, the roots are negative because it bends away from the sunlight. So it is called as negative phototropism. So as you can see on the roots from the geotropism, the roots is bending towards the gravity, which is called as positive geotropism, while on the half part, which is the shoots, is bending toward away from the gravity, which is called as the negative geotropism. Negative geotropism because it, it bends away from the earth. Or geo means earth, diba? And for the another video, um, another picture, it is coiling towards, bending towards the light, which is called as the positive thigmotropism. And those, the lower picture is bending the negative towards the, um, the plants. Okay. For the chemotropism, which is the positive chemotropism because it grows. It moves towards the stimulus, while on the last, it is away from the chemicals, which is the negative chemotropism. And that's all for today, guys. Uh, please take note. Thank you. Thank you.